One last thing I want to ask you about. You brought up Medicaid and the uh, ins and outs with the federal government always changing. Citizen Action of Wisconsin, you probably heard about this already, put out something today saying that you're basically not taking action on something that the states have the authority to continue, which is a higher reimbursement rate for physicians uh, under Medicaid. Is that something that you can do unilaterally, or would you need the legislature to approve that? Well, I mean, they point out the problem with that is is that the money's not there. I mean, it's the federal government. That, they're actually making a point as to why the expansion was not a good idea, which is you could up those rates, um, and it's something that in the past has been debated as part of the budget process where they can be mandated in the statutes. But if you do so, that's just higher cost uh, to the state, uh, of which the federal government isn't giving us any more money for that. So it's just a prime example where there's been a lot of promises made as part of Obamacare that the federal government's failed to live up to. They were failing to live up to their Medicaid exp uh, problem promises before the expansion, before the Affordable Care Act. It's only gotten worse since then. And, um, so would you say it's unlikely those rates are those rates are probably going to be cut then for physicians? I don't mean they're cut, but I just don't see them being a, a, an ability to dramatically increase them in any way because, like I said, it, it it's going to come out of some other part of the budget. So to up that would mean you would have to come out of reduction somewhere else in the state budget in an area that's the fastest growing part of the state budget. I think there's a lot of people in education and higher ed and other parts of the budget that say Medicaid already takes too much of our budget. What would you have to say in response to that? We have a real problem with Governor Walker and the legislature passing the buck on health care and taking no responsibility for it. So the Affordable Care Act actually did improve uh, reimbursement rates for primary care doctors. Those are the doctors that where the rubber meets the road. They do screenings, preventive care, make sure people stay well. So they prevent people from being sicker and having more expensive care. They're very, very important, and they're under-reimbursed compared to other doctors like specialists. And so a lot of states, it ran out. The money runs out at the end of this year. A lot of other states, 15 so far, are at putting their own money in to make sure those rates don't go down. And it's not just about access to the doctors. Doctors are saying, primary care doctors around the state, that they'll have to move a lot quicker, ask people fewer questions, spend less time with them, and then they're more likely to miss major things that could lead to major illnesses. So it reduces the quality of health care. Governor says that it's about money, but he's turning down the extra money for Badger Care, the Medicaid money, which is $315 million in the next budget. We think this uh, reimbursement, uh, in maintaining the current reimbursement rates for primary care doctors would only cost 20 to $30 million top. So there's more than enough money if he would just take the extra money for Badger Care he's been turning down. It's always the Affordable Care Act is supposed to be a state-federal partnership. So the states have responsibilities. Just like in Badger Care, in traditional Badger Care, the state pays 40% in Wisconsin, the federal government pays 60%. And so it wasn't the federal government would do everything. And in fact, conservatives have been opposed to having a fully federally controlled and federally run program. So this is a matter of Governor Walker refusing to take responsibility. States like Minnesota, they're using the Affordable Care Act and building on it, are actually improving their health care system and reducing costs. And we're not. We're covering fewer people at higher cost. We have higher premiums overall than a lot of other states like Minnesota because Governor Walker and the legislature are held bent on sabotaging the health care law rather than trying to improve it and build it. The thing, though, is that the state needs to take responsibility both for health care costs because premiums have tripled since the year 2000 in Wisconsin and for quality of health care. And it is not a health care policy to say we're against the Affordable Care Act. We want to undermine it. That's currently Governor Walker's position on health care and the legislature's position, the leaders in the legislature. That's not what the public wants. The public expects state government to work to lower costs, improve quality, and make sure everyone has access to affordable health care no matter what. And they're not doing that. You know, I feel like you could explain this and talk to staff at the Capitol till you're blue in the face, and it wouldn't make a difference because the governor is opposed to this. He knows that it's probably in his interest to continue to oppose it if he's going to run for president. At least that's the way he looks at it. Do you feel there are others in the Republican Party who maybe are running for president or thinking about it that are going to benefit from doing this? See, that's a judgment about Republican primary states. And r what's happened recently is the further right you sure. are, the better. So, is so it, in, in some ways, I mean, can you blame him for taking the, the tack that he has if that's his end goal? Well, I think as governor, he should do what's in the interest of the state of Wisconsin. I don't think this has been net positive for him. He has simply bit the bullet on it because he wants to run for president. I actually do not think it would harm him in a primary that he had taken uh, the, the money for Badger Care, for Medicaid. It's too complicated to explain to people. I think he could do it, and I think the budget deficit may ultimately force him to do it while claiming that the federal government came around to his way of thinking. He could declare victory.